Hey guys, what is going on? This is Hi Apple Geek. I'm here to help you understand your everyday tech one video at a time. Today, I want to show you guys how to install the latest iOS 13 developer beta on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Now, first things first, I just want to say if you're considering doing this on a main device, just don't. Just just skip this beta altogether if you don't have a backup device to install this on. In fact, I would recommend not installing this year's beta at all. Apple has warned us against it. However, if you still want to test out the developer beta, even before the public beta releases, then this is how you can do it. I've already got it installed here on my iPod Touch 7th generation. As you guys can see, I do have the dark mode switch, and I can switch back and forth between light mode and dark mode. Before we jump in, though, you are going to need a Mac computer not a Windows computer this will not work on Windows at the moment now iOS 13 does drop support for some devices I will have those uh, supported devices in the description below I believe a lot of the A8 and A7 chip devices have been dropped however if you have one of the devices listed in the description you should be able to do this quite easily uh, today I'm gonna be doing this on my iPhone SE it is one of the supported devices surprisingly uh, I did not expect the iPhone SE to last this long but I'll get to that in another video so once you have your device you're gonna go on your Mac computer and download a couple of files alright so in order to do this you will need two primary files one of them is gonna be the IPSW for your device for iOS 13 and the other one will be the mobile devices package for Mac. All right, in order to download the IPSW, uh, go to this website. I'll have it linked in the description below. Scroll down here until you see the block for iOS downloads. Hit the button that says IPSW. It's gonna take you to a menu where you can see a bunch of devices. I personally need this for the iPhone SE, so be sure you get the one uh, for your specific device and then go ahead and hit download. Now this should redirect you to a mega site. This might change, it might go to Google Drive, I don't know, but you should be able to just download it here. All right, once you have the IPSW, I will also link the mobile device package link down below. So you should be able to just find the mobile device package file, hit the download button over here, and it will just save to your device. So once you have these two things downloaded, go ahead and open up the mobile device package. It's going to take you to an installer where you can install the mobile device package. You're going to just want to run through this. This is going to allow iTunes to read iOS 13. All right, once you get to this screen, the installation was successful. You can just go ahead and close out of the installer. At this point, you'll want to connect your device to your Mac with a lightning cable, whether that be the USB-A or the USB-C. Now before you do anything, if you have iCloud, go ahead and go in there and make an iCloud backup. You should know how to do that. Go to settings, click your name at the top, hit iCloud, scroll down to iCloud backup and just make a backup. If you ever want to come back to iOS 12, this is the version that you'll come back to because iOS 12 is not compatible with iOS 13 backups. So you might want to turn this off after you update to iOS 13 until you come back to iOS 12. Now if you don't have iCloud, make sure you make a backup inside of iTunes. I'm going to open that right now. If it asks you whether or not you want to give permission to read your phone, just hit continue on your phone. Be sure you hit trust this computer. Enter your passcode and now you should be able to see your device inside of iTunes. If the phone icon doesn't pop up, just unplug and replug your phone. Then you should be able to see it here inside of iTunes. All right, like I said, if you don't have iCloud, come in here and make a backup. Like, do that. Just do it. Backup to this computer. Hit backup now. That way you don't lose any information in this process. All right, so inside of iTunes, you should have two buttons up here next to your device name and version. It should either say update or check for update, and the other button should be restore. Now, what you want to do is hold down the command and option keys and click on the update or check for update button. This is going to put you in a menu like this. Go ahead and find that IPSW you downloaded. Hit open. It's going to say iTunes will update your iPhone to iOS 13.0 and verify the update with Apple. Now if it asks for a device password, go ahead and enter that in so it can continue with the update. Alright, I'm pretty sure we're all familiar with the Apple logo and the uh, loading bar. That's inevitably going to show up just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this process and I'll be back when this is done. All right, my device has booted up here, so let me just go ahead and log in. It's gonna say update completed, hit continue, and here you can notice a new setup pane uh, for the appearance of light and dark modes. 
So I'm actually going to just leave it on light. I'm going to switch it later, hit continue, and it's going to say welcome to iPhone with this updated screen. And boom, we are on iOS 13. And let me go ahead and change to one of the new wallpapers. You guys can see there's like a new uh, set wallpaper button for for all of them, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure what this center one does. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to do something. Also going to come back here into general, about, and you can see uh, iOS 13.0 right here. Let, let me go ahead and switch on the dark mode. Boom. It just turned dark in the wallpaper as well as all the other panes. But that's going to be it for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like if you found this helpful. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more stuff like this. And if you do subscribe, I will see you in the next video. Peace.